In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 when using Cubase. If you're looking for more feature-specific in-depth tutorials, these can be found on our website. Let's get started. All right, so let's have a quick listen to the tracks that we're going to be working with. Okay, so all in all, not a bad performance. That being said, I do want to make some adjustments to both the tuning and the timing. And in order to do that, we are going to use the ARA version of Revoice Pro Link. So to get started, I'm going to make a highlighted range selection across both of these events. We are going to head up to the audio menu and we will click extensions and we will click Revoice Pro Link VST3. Now this gives us the ability to start Revoice Pro directly from within the GUI. And now once again, with both of these audio events selected, let's choose the capture audio. Now let's show Revoice Pro, and you can see that both tracks have been captured into Revoice Pro. It's created a session with the same name. Now I'm going to solo this track out and let's go full screen and we'll zoom out a little bit. And the first thing I need to do is tune this lead vocal. So let's right click and adjust pitch, timing, and level. This will allow me to make adjustments to both the timing and the pitch of this lead vocal track. Now there's a number of different ways that we can approach tuning from within Revoice Pro. One really easy way is using Alter Option W, and this is going to tune everything and snap it to 100%, and this is of course based on the recorded performance, and in this case, a chromatic grid. That being said, I do want to take a look at some really basic adjustments. If you highlight a pitch block in Revoice Pro, notice that we have these different control points. Now, if we hover to the bottom right, we have the ability to dial up the correction from zero to 100%. If we hover to the left, you can see that we can adjust the drift and you can see the pitch trace moving in real time as we do this. If you wanna make adjustments to the actual level of any one of these pitch blocks, if they're either too quiet or too loud, that's something we can do by adjusting here. In addition, we can flatten out the pitch trace altogether if we wanted to have something a little bit more synthetic. Or conversely, we could also exaggerate that or emphasize that same pitch trace. Click holding and dragging up and down, we can manually adjust each one of these pitch blocks. And at any given point in time, we can right click, choose reset selected notes and reset all changes. And this will bring us back to a starting point of where we were. That being said, the approach that I'm going to take here is let's use Command A, which is going to select everything. I'm going to right click and let's choose the center notes tool. This will give us the ability to dial everything up and we can choose a percentage amount that works for pretty much everything. And you can see everything kind of falling into line in real time. Let's just kind of zoom out a little bit and make sure that everything looks good. And I'm going to choose the selector tool and now let's addition these changes. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Guess I need somebody, body. Okay, so this one area right over here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and let's make an adjustment to this pitch block. I'm going to right click and let's choose the cutter tool and I'm going to put a little separation right over here. Now I'm gonna right click again, choose the selector tool and we can double click and this will snap now to 100%. Okay, so let's move on. We'll continue playing from here. Yes, I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You, again. Okay, so for sake of demonstration, let's say that we're happy with those changes. And now I'm going to pop out of the full screen mode. Let's take this out of solo. Let's choose tracks and we will auto size track heights. This helps maximize our screen real estate a little bit. The next thing that I want to do is I want to take the tuning and the overall timing from this main vocal track and I want to apply it to this. So in order to do that, we are going to click the B key and this brings up the new process panel. We're going to choose a match process, which allows us to match the timing, the pitch or the level. We're going to do this on the selected audio in terms of presets. I'm going to navigate to a recently used preset. And you can see the lead Vox female track is the guide and the lead Vox male is the dub. And now let's create this new process. So we can audition these changes. Let's have a quick listen to how it was before. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You. And now after. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You. Again. 
Okay, perfect. So one of the best things about working with an ARA-based DAW is when you're happy with everything, we can come right back into a session and we can addition everything against our timeline. Okay, so let's say that I'm happy with these. I actually want to render these changes into these audio events. In order to do this, we are going to select both events. We will head over to the audio menu and in extensions at the very bottom, let's make extension permanent. This will actually render the changes from Revoice Pro into these files. Now, the last thing I want to take a look at before we leave is I heard this spot at the very end of this track and I want to take a look at potentially creating a doubler process. So just for this section right over here, again, I want to have that one line. I want to have a stereo double that's created from the main lead vocal over here. So in order to do this, we're going to call up the new process panel, but this time, instead of a match process, we're going to choose a doubler, but we don't need it to happen across the whole audio file. We just need it to happen across this one section. So I'm going to make a highlighted selection right across here and notice that as I make this selection, it changes the input start and end time. Now in terms of presets, I always love going with stereo vocal mild. The input is going to be our lead vox female and the output will be automatic. Let's go ahead and create this new process and let's have a quick listen to how that sounds. Again. Perfect, just that one note, it kind of makes it punch out a little bit more. Okay, so now that we're done, we need to get this stereo track back into Cubase. So I'm going to hold down shift and alter option. We are going to click until we see this icon. I'm going to drag it into Cubase and then I'm going to let go of both modifiers and let go of my mouse. And now you see we have the option to copy to project folder and we're going to place this in. Now it's been brought into the timeline, but it's not at the right location. So in order to do this, we are going to select the event. We are going to head over to the edit menu and under move, we're going to choose events to origin. So now this will be snapped or spotted to the proper location. Let's have a quick listen. You again. Perfect. So now that we've brought in our vocal double, let's take a quick listen to everything in context. So that's using Revoice Pro 5 in Cubase Pro. More in-depth tutorials on these features and more can be found on our website. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.